no rationale for this whatsoever. There is no excuse that you can give to me that you can put your hands on a player's head and push it in that moment. Man, that Big 12 conference, it's going to be really competitive. You had Kansas that just won. They're going to play Baylor, who should be number one in the nation on February 1st. And yep. Then Baylor has West Virginia. It's going to be a lot of fighting, we should say, in the Big 12. Uh, certainly. You know, last year, remember Mammoth and Iona at Iona? I, I oh, there was almost a fight at the end of that. that was, I think they just did no, it no, at the bench. There was a fight. Remember they were going? They were go uh, You're right. They were, I don't think there was a fist throw, but there's a lot of screaming. Yeah. Well, today, eh, things got a little heated in the Missouri-Georgia game. Let's take a look at this. I want to take you through this. I'm kind of going to play the Teddy Atlas role here for you. End of the first shot at the buzzer. Yante May and Jordan Geist. They get into it. Causes the scuffle. Georgia's bench. And both teams' coaches are out on the court, right? Then watch this. Missouri's assistant coach, Steve Shields, runs into action. Then Georgia's director of basketball operations, Ken Davidson. I love that we're labeling these people. Already in the middle of this thing, then watch the faces of everyone. So Shields is not shielding anybody. Right? Exactly. Just yelling at everyone. Everyone's just losing their cool clipboards in hand. No one's really pulling at the ties. They're just screaming at each other. This is what happens when you're trying to calm people down. They, they can't really read the situation. Look at that guy. He's getting carried out. You'd have to cool down. This isn't good. So now the, the, the two head coaches here, Mark Fox, Missouri's head coach, Anderson, you see there, they're, they're, they're being mature here. They're talking it out. All right, buddy. We're cool, right? All right, I'm going to pick up some paper. Because, you know, they were just throwing things. Everyone's put boards. We can't play, you know, we can't play with the paper. probably picking before. it up and looking at the plays. I thought just put it in my pocket. Thanks, dude. Uh, one technical foul on Davidson of Georgia and one on Shields of Missouri before the second half. Georgia did win 71-66, but that was certainly the, the story of the game. I, I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, that Wes Get a little has 10 points. Uh, yep, you see there a little bit of a three-quarter court pressure. Brooke Johnson splits both, all, oh. everybody, but a nice block, hard contact. Nice. And Katie Powell, we got a scrum going oh. on. Katie Powell and Robinson. Punches are being thrown. Benches are clear. We've got ourselves a brouhaha on the left side of the corner by the fans. Katie Powell and Robinson swung at each other. They are most likely going to be ejected. But now the problem is technical fouls could be on both teams. The bench is cleared. Wow. Boy, oh boy. I'm speechless. Hey, Brooke Johnson took a hard fall. I don't know if Powell took exception. I could not see if Robinson was the one I did not to see get the started. foul. Yeah. Well, Robinson was the foul. What, she, okay. was, she was the foul, okay. absolutely. Uh, but I don't know what started it. I, I know it was uh, fans aren't liking it. I don't know which fans. It sounds like the Re Lady Rebel fans aren't. Uh, well, that's going to be a big so. problem now for the Rebels because that means I believe Katie Powell might be ejected from oh, the she, game. Oh, absolutely. Oh, Timbers flaring at Sienna tonight. Watch this. It all started innocently enough, and after the foul in the alley-oop, things getting rough. Sienna, Ryder players scuffling, and then it was turned to the actual coaches. Ryder head coach Kevin Baggett, and Sienna head coach Jimmy Patsos, and you see them screaming at each other. And this coming off the heels of what happened with New Mexico and Colorado State. Then after the game was over, look at Pat Soaps. He proceeds to air shake <laughs> the entire Ryder team because Baggett and his team was walking off the court. He's wired when we come back.